Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Atiya Amin. Uh, I'm from McGill University, and I'm very happy to represent Canada in this 3MT showcase. So the title of my presentation is um, Preventing Leishmaniasis Using Exosome. This is Asia, a 15-year-old girl living in a small village of Bangladesh. The scars you are seeing at her face, these are actually caused by a parasite, which is not only destroying her skin, but also can cause organ failure and even death, if remains untreated. The first line of drug she received did not improve her condition at all, because the drug was developed more than 60 years ago, and the parasite has become resistant to it already. So the only available option now is to repurpose some anti-cancer medication which is highly expensive and her poor parents cannot afford it. This is not just the story of Asia, but the reality of over one billion people who are at risk of leishmaniasis, a disease you probably never heard of. The reason you might not have heard about this disease is because it's prevalent in some of the poorest countries in the world, especially in Indian and African subcontinents. While growing up in Bangladesh, I myself experienced the frustration of people, especially women, as they face a lot of social stigma because of the scars left by the disease. And the worst is, till this day, people die without proper treatment. So, my research is to find a solution for these people. The questions I'm asking is that, how does this parasite become resistant to this drug? And if one parasite becomes resistant, how does it transfer these resistance mechanisms to the other parasites? To understand these questions, we investigated the communication mechanisms among the parasites. And we found that one of the main ways these parasites communicate with each other is by producing some tiny bubbles called exosome. So exosome, these tiny bubbles, carry DNA inside that are used by this parasite to communicate with each other. What we have done is that we extracted exosomes from the resistant and the non-resistant parasites, and then I compared the DNA content of the exosome between these two groups, and guess what? I found that one DNA fragment was 26 times highly abundant inside the exosome of the resistant parasite compared to the non-resistant parasite. When I looked into the function of this DNA fragment, I found that it actually carries a gene that is helping the parasite to get rid of the drug and survive the treatment. So, now that we know what gene is present inside the exosome of the resistant parasite, we can now design a new drug that will specifically target this gene to block the transmission of resistance among the parasites. And with this new drug, I want to give hope to the girls like Aisha and hopefully prevent Lashmaniasis forever. Thank you.